I'm oh, going home. Certainly, love, yeah. Oh, they're nice. Our dangers, aren't they? Eh? <laughs> no, they're begonias, love. No, oh. They're eye drangers over there, you see. Oh, yeah. They're begonias, they're panties, and they're gorge. Gorge? <laughs> <laughs> they was irises just now. Oh, well, there's dogs now. <laughs> oh, God, he's stuck again, has he? Oh. The demon flower plucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, miss, but I've stood it just as much as I can take from that demon. Snapping my flowers off at the stalks just as they're bursting from the buds. After I've nurtured them and all. Oh, sounds ever so painful. Eh? Yes, it'll be painful for him next time, though, I'll tell you. Here, love. Thank you. Uh, right, then. You can pass for it, I'll tell you. Right. It's set me from his trap. Here. Here. Now yeah, then, we'll find out just who you are, you faceless thieving flower snatcher, you. Right? Yeah. And I think I do know who you are and all. So there you are, Jack. Come on, let's push off over. Yeah, well, I've just been putting my gear away. Well, bird time now, mate. Yeah, there's some lovely birds working here and all, isn't there? Oh, well. Look at that one. Oh, blimey, she's not a bird, she's a vulture. Not Olive. <laughs> the other one. Yeah, lay off that, mate. I'm working on that. Well, work on it then. Yeah, well, I'm trying, and I. Here, uh, Sandra, darling. I got you a few flowers. So... Again? Yeah. Oh, viruses. Yeah. How lovely. You ruin your garden, you lovely boy. Ah. Uh, do, you, uh, do you fancy a nice bunch of croissants? Oh, yeah. Well, you know I like croissants. Uh, right, you go put your gear away, and I'll see you in a minute then. You are sweet, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you said you'd give me the last of the croissants yesterday. Ah, oh, yeah, well, uh, I've just spotted a few more growing today. <laughs> well, they don't grow as fast as that, Jack. Yeah, uh, they do in my garden. <laughs> See you in a minute. than that for the competition next Friday. Competition? The depot flower and vegetable competition. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Now then. He's got my I prize. shall be the judge. And all entries will be judged in situ. Snapped off at the back. Hey? Where they are growing. Oh. And there will be no cheating. How many have entered for the competition? Well, none, sir. None? Well, I do think it's a pretty silly idea, don't you, sir? Blake, <laughs> it was my wife's idea. Oh. Oh, it's a good idea, sir. And you say nobody's entered? Uh, well, uh, yeah, just one. Who's that? Me, sir. You haven't put your name on a list? I, I was just going to do it now, sir. It's all right, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if you've got no garden, you've got nowhere to sunbathe privately, I mean, it's just an idea. I mean, why don't you come round to my place? It's smashing, you'll love it. That is sweet of you, Jack. Are you sure you won't mind me lying around the place in my bikini? Yeah, well, I'll uh, try and put up with it, won't I? <laughs> uh, can I have your attention, ladies and gentlemen, please? Uh, you do all realise that this is positively the char last chance you've got of entering the flower and vegetable competition, don't you? What? The flower and vegetable competition. Now, how many want to put their names down there? Nobody. Hey, you mind your own business, Harper. I'm not talking to you. There is a £25 prize, you know, a first prize. Look, you're wasting your time, Blanky. 25 quid ain't worth all the trouble involved. Besides, nobody's got a good enough garden anyway. Mm. You must have, Jack. Huh? You told me how lovely your garden was. 
Yes, you must have, mustn't he? Yeah. Yeah. How else would you get all them lovely flowers out of it then? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, uh, you better stick my name down then, bloody. Yeah, that's better. I've got to be off, love. I'm sure you'll win easily. Yeah. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, I'll easily win that 25 quid. <laughs> you have to be out of your mind, no. I bet your garden's like a rubbish tip, and it? That money's as good as mine. Yours? What do you know about flowers? I know a bit more than you think I know, Arthur, I'll tell you. I've got green fingers, I have. Yeah, I know you have, Dracula. You've got a green face to go with them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, Mrs Butler. I'll soon have that garden looking all ship-shape and tiddly-tidy. I can't wait to get and have a look at it. Oh, well, it used to look lovely in the old days, you know. Of course, I haven't got time to keep it nice now. Now I've got you for a lodger. Mm. <laughs> Here, I've got a whole line of washing to get out there today to get dry on Sunday of all days. Oh, never mind, Mum. It'll soon dry. Oh, I think it's going to be a scorcher. I can tell by the way my girdle's sticking to me. <laughs> I love the sun. I might get into my bikini today. Yeah, you might if you find a couple of tyre levers. <laughs> You're so rude. You haven't even seen my bikini yet. No, but I've seen what's got to go into it. <laughs> well, I don't think it's good for you exposing your flesh to that hot sun. Oh, I don't know. Might melt a bit of a fat, mightn't it? <laughs> well, at least I've got some flesh on me instead of, like you, all skin and bones. Now, Olive, don't be rude to the inspector. He can't help being all scrawny. Hmm? How about that, Mrs Butler? You feel that muscle, then? Eh? Oh, my goodness, it's like steel. Yeah, you ought to feel some of my other muscles. Oh, Inspector, <laughs> if a landlady went around feeling her lodger's muscles, well, you don't know where it'd lead. <laughs> Not very far, I can assure you that. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have a look at that garden, tidy it up before the judging. Oh, my God. Well, what it needs is a man's hand. Yeah, it needs an army of men's hands. Well, you've got the hands. Here, then, you've got the muscles. <laughs> yeah, that's very good, Blakey. I must say, that's lovely. You've done a lovely job there. The informal look. Yeah, you can <laughs> scoff, Arthur. If you've got nothing to do, better to do, I'll make you come over and give me a hand with some of this junk. Uh, sorry about that, but I have got something better to do. Ah, you're wasting your time with that competition, mate. You don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? Listen, mate, we've got a tree in this garden. That's something you ain't got. Oh, yeah. That's all you know. Look, the roots happen to be in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's all the top been doing over in this garden? And go get it out. You leave that alone, mate. I planted that for my conquer. <laughs> oh, Sandra, look, darling, you'll never get sunburned with that. Oh, let's no, take it off. No, uh, Jack, it's cold out here. There's no sun yet. Oh, look, I tell you what, I've got a sun lamp indoors in my bedroom. Hey? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, what do you got in there? You've got a... <laughs> you got a naked woman in there. No, not quite, Blackie. She's still got a bikini on. Oh, what's she doing? She, she won't have much longer, not if I can help it. What are you doing? It's not what I'm doing, it's what I'm hoping to do. <laughs> You're deprived. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on in, Sandra. Let's get up the bedroom. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. Who are you calling disgusting? <laughs> oh, my God. They're all at it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think you're doing down there? Look at you, look. Like a stranded great white whale. <laughs> no, be dick. You yeah. certainly look like the old man of the sea. But what have you done to the garden? It looked better before you started it. Well, I haven't started yet, have I? Come and move over. I want to do some weeding here. Oh, I don't know why you bother. I like it like it is. Look, I am not leaving that first prize of £25 to that sex maniac next door. No, you're right. He is a sex maniac. Here, Mr Blake, would you do my bra strap at the back, please? Hey? <laughs> do no such thing. Well, I don't want strap marks on me back. Well, in my way, you'll have a few strap marks across your backside. Oh, Mr. Blake! <laughs> oh, you love, come on, cover yourself up, you get cow. Oh. Give me a hand with the line and this washing. What do you think you're going to do? I'm going to put this washing out, aren't I? You're not doing anything of the kind. What do you think? This is supposed to be a competition for gardening, not a Chinese laundry. Oh. Yeah, so old Blackie spent all day yesterday clearing up his garden. Well, you want to watch it, mate? Otherwise, he's going to beat you in that competition on Friday. No, he don't stand a chance. I mean, how can he win? He's got no flowers in his garden, has he? Well, nor have you, have you? Well, I know that, don't I? But I've got it all worked out, mate. Now, come on, I want to get the bus out early. Yeah, but who are you to? Uh, hello, here comes Adam the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going out early for? Well, we always do, don't we, bloody? Yeah. Ah, no, no, seriously, mate. I've got to admit, you're doing a very good job on your backyard. 
Thanks very much. Yeah, pity it's not a rubbish tip competition. You win hands down. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh, Arthur. You just remember, mate, who laughs last, laughs last. <laughs> You've got a surprise coming to you, mate. Yeah, well, so have you got a surprise coming to you. You've got the biggest Oi! surprise you've got coming. Wait, when you finish your gardening club, I thought you wanted to get out early. Yeah, don't hang us about, Blake. He will want to get off to work. You're up to something, are you? Yeah, I am. But about your garden? Not going to tell you. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to tell you about my garden, uh, then. All right, then. Yeah. Oh, so See? Dave. All yeah. right. Yeah. Ah. Ah, uh, sorry, Blanky, we're full up. <laughs> You'll have to wait for the bus behind. I'm not having your pansies rubbing up against my Oliox. <laughs> <laughs> The garden looked lovely and so quickly. All them lovely flowers. Them lovely flowers cost me a fortune, Mrs. Butler. Mm. Then I know I shall win that competition tomorrow, so I'll get all my money back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go out and plant my cabbage plants this evening. Oh. Jack's garden looks very nice. Eh? Yeah. What does he know? He don't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, yeah, great. Yeah, great improvement. I could eat it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> them spring greens were lovely. Mm. Well, don't thank me, you bought them. Hey? No, I didn't buy them, did I? Yes, you did. You left them a newspaper on the table over there. <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> With cabbage plants. What about your cabbage plants? Them spring greens, I just say, they were my cabbage plants. Ah, well. They was very lovely, I must say. Will you grow us some more? Yeah, if I ever get a chance to get them in the ground before you cook them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mum. Shall I go out in the garden and pick a nice bunch of flowers and brighten the whole room up? Mm. Oh, lovely, yeah. Oh, I'll right. do that. You do no fixing. If you leave my flowers alone, I'll chop your hands off. Oh, well, I suppose it's all right if I go and have a look at it. No, it is not all right, Mrs Butler. I don't want your big feet trampling over my asters. Oh. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, that's one in the eye for Blanky. Ah, now, Tibbles, come here. Don't you go in that nasty old Dracula's garden. He might sink his fangs in you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, playing with your pussy, are you? <laughs> you keep that mangy-looking moggy out of here, Arthur, or I'll chop him up for mouse meat. <laughs> you call our garden, mate. Listen, I wouldn't let my cat soil his paws in your rotten garden. Oh, okay. This garden is going to win that competition for me tomorrow. Right? You can scoff, mate. Have a look at it. Look. A triumph for the gardener's art. Look at it. Oh, you got to be joking. Look, my garden's streets out of yours, isn't it? Eh? What? You don't stand a chance, mate. Look at it, look. Oh, look at all your little dwarfs, look. What are you, Snow White? <laughs> like a big fairy. Yeah, yeah, that. We like it, don't we, Tibbles, eh? Yeah. yeah. We're going to win that competition, aren't we? Yeah. You keep that cat out of here, I'm telling you. I'm warning you. Yeah, silly old fool. Mind you, Tibbles, I've got to admit, his garden don't look half bad. What's the matter? Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, go on. Go on. There's a good boy. Do it for Daddy. <laughs> go on, then. Go and do it over there by them petunias. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 
He's trained that cat. You've trained that cat to ruin my garden, haven't you? <laughs> I'll give you ruin my garden. <laughs> 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 Tibbles has turned traitor. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's that conniving basket next door, isn't it? Hey, hi, Oh, now, look at that, look. We love the eye drains are brutally murdered. <laughs> well, you chop down all my flowers. Yeah, and what about your cat training him to do his business in my bed, then? Well, he's got to go somewhere when he's caught short, isn't he? I'm he's only human. I'm warning you up. You touch my plants again, I'll threaten you, I'm uh, telling you. You're jealous, mate, that's all you are. You're jealous just because your garden's not as good as mine. Not as good as yours? Uh, <laughs> I'll be talking uh, daft, mate. My garden is ten times better than yours. Uh, Twenty uh, times how better. How can it be, mate? Your garden's starved. It wants feeding, mate. Well, I'll feed it, then, oh, won't yeah. I? What with? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I'm not telling you, mate. Red lump up. Red lump up. Red lump up. Red lump Come on, old lad. Don't take all day about it. <laughs> it's mine. No, it's not. It's mine. It's <laughs> that's mine. First come, first served. So I'm having it. <laughs> no, you're not, mate. He's having it. <laughs> uh, you can laugh. Your garden's in a shocking state, mate. You needed that manure bad. No, it don't. Look, I've got a tree in my garden. You haven't. They'll swing it in my favour. <laughs> We'll see about that. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face tomorrow. Yeah. Tibble, stop snoring for God's sake. Hey, what is that noise? What's going on? My tree! He's cutting my tree down! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> now who's going to win the competition, eh? <laughs> oh, God. Chopped down to, to go for a walk, <laughs> and uh, when I came back, the door was bolted. Bolted itself, did it? Oh, well, not, I don't suppose so. No, I suppose somebody came to bolt it when I came out to, cut, to go for a walk. Yeah, you always go for a walk in your pajamas, do you? Well, it's a bit warm when I uh, uh, With a saw and a chopper. Hey? <laughs> oh, well, I was just trying to get in, you see. Trying to break in more like it. All right, come with us. Down no, no, you oh, don't understand. Off. I live here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can you prove that? Well, of course I can prove it. My tree. My lovely old tree. Oh, thank God. Here. 
Tell this stupid idiot I live here, will you? What's your... Oh, I heard that. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Jack Harper. I live here. He cut my tree down. Did you cut his tree down? No, of course I didn't. I just pruned it a little bit. Ah, tree <laughs> vandal, eh? Unless you can vouch for this man, I shall have to arrest him. I've never seen him before in my life, I'm sorry. <laughs> Judas! Oh, good boy! Oh, right, right, right. Keep quiet. I'll out of this. Tip. He's lying! Now, be very careful with this. That's evidence. Off you go oh, now, then. You don't understand. Oh, he's lying. Look, they know me here. Yeah? What? Mrs. Butler! Anyway, they came and carted old Blakey off to the cop shop in his nighty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's very mean of you, Jack. Well, he asked for it. <laughs> oh, love it. Hello, here he comes. Convict 99. <laughs> <laughs> Like you're late. Let me get it. Yeah, all right, all right. Just hold it, hold it. Just look. I thought you said last night that you didn't know this gentleman. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it was very dark last night. You see, uh, I didn't recognise him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, it changes at midnight. He's Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Now, just watch your language, if you please, sir. And I think I'd take that before you fly off with it. <laughs> Mr. Blake. Oh, thanks. I'll better get these on before the manager finds out. Yeah, he already knows. I just told him. Eh? Oh, God. Where is he? He's round home, Judge, in the gardens. Here, yeah, what do you say about mine? Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, but what do you say about my garden? That's what he said. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> that means I've won. <laughs> what did he say about mine? He didn't say anything. He just kept on laughing. Ah, that means I've won. There's only two of us in it, oh, eh? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about all this. Uh, oh, that's all right, Blake. I think it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the garden, then, sir? Oh, they were very close. Very close. Yeah. Next door to each other, in fact. <laughs> 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 what did you think about them, though, sir? Hmm? No, I couldn't make up my mind between the two. Eh? Oh, oh, I see. You, you couldn't make up your mind which was the best? No, I couldn't decide which was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I see what you mean. So it's a draw, so we share the first prize, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I suppose we have to have half each because we're drawn for first place. If you draw for first place. Eh? But I'm afraid you've drawn for last place. What? Oh, Joel, don't there was only two of us. No, in no, it. no, you see. My wife told me to put her name down after you. Your wife? Well, that's not fair, is it? You wife? But, well, I mean, it's not fair, is it, sir? No, no you're quite right, Blake, it's not fair, but I've got to live with her, and that's not fair either, is it? <laughs> you do understand, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I understand all that. Thank no you. Way. Right then, get to work, and Blake. I know you've been doing a lot of midnight gardening lately, but put your trousers on, will you? <laughs> well, you don't want those caterpillars tickling your fancy, do we, huh? <laughs> you get the work out of it, Arthur. Ah, uh, keep your shirt on, Blakey. I'm in your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you when it's over. You see, my don't. The lawyers! I'll have you. You see. 